In this video, I'll show you how to simplify navigation for large reports or reports with a hierarchical structure, such as a master detail report. We'll look at how to show page numbers in a document and how to provide report elements with bookmarks displayed in a document map or a table of contents. I'll start with a report that has a master detail relationship. You can learn how to build the report by watching the video. First, I'll add page numbers and system information. Drag the XR page info item from the toolbox and drop it on the bottom margin band. Change the display format of page numbers using the controls format property. To display the information in the top margin as well, press control and drag the page info control to it. This will create a copy. Now let's look at the preview. Our page info control allows you to display other information as well, like system date and time or username. Just select the information you want to show using the page info property. You can format the displayed date time value using the format string editor. Next, let's look at how you can specify bookmarks and create a document map. You can assign bookmarks to any report control and the report itself. In print preview, these bookmarks will be listed in the document map, enabling you to quickly navigate to a specific entry in a document. I'll add some bookmarks to our master detail report. In the detail band, select the label that's bound to the category name data field and expand the data bindings category. Then bind the bookmark property to the category name field. Just like other properties, you can switch the format string if needed. Select the table in the detail band and bind its bookmark property to the product name field. Make sure that the bound field is selected from the relational table corresponding to the master detail structure of the hierarchical data source. Set the bookmark parent property to the label from the master report that is placed one level higher in the report hierarchy. To specify the text for the root bookmark of the documenting map tree, select the report and set its bookmark property. For example, I'll set it to fall catalog. Let's switch over to the preview and take a look. Clicking a bookmark will navigate you to a corresponding section in the document. Finally, let's look at how to add a table of contents. Listing bookmarks assigned to report elements along with their corresponding page numbers. Select the XR Table of Contents control in the Report Controls tab and drop it onto the report header. If there isn't a band, it will be created automatically after dropping the control onto the report. Double click the Table of Contents and type the document title there. To customize the title appearance, switch to the Properties window and use the Level Title property. To customize the appearance of each nesting level, add a corresponding item to the Levels collection and access its properties. The document begins with a table of contents generated based on the hierarchy of bookmarks. The document pages are displayed opposite the bookmarks. I'll make each data row printed on a separate page using the page break property of the detail band. Switch to preview one last time and you can see the table of contents is updated to reflect the changes made to the document. Click on the specific entry in the table of contents to go to that section in the document. And that is it for this video. To learn more about our reporting suite, make sure to check out the documentation on our website.
or watch any of the other videos from our reporting playlist. You can also subscribe to our channel and watch all of our latest videos. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.